Even if it is technically a new category, I don't want to start off with missing that. <laughs> There we go. Got it that time. We were probably going to see quite a few golds this run. As I don't make the same mistakes I did last time and make new ones instead. I'll just send you an email, man. My cursor was almost not quite in the right spot there, but thankfully it was. Nah. Take it. If you saw that anyway. Oh, and I, for I forgot to change the splits to the correct levels. I knew I was forgetting something to do in between runs. Oh well, I'll try and remember. If, so if I don't remember it after this run, somebody remind me. Because I might forget again. Alright, I didn't die on that level, so I got a free gold. It wasn't perfect, but it was a free gold. Alright, and I didn't mess things up on that one either, so I saved some time. Greetings, uh, you know what, you already knew all that, don't worry about it. Take that. Ooh. That was pretty good. Not almost just barely not perfect, but that was pretty good. I will take it. I don't know what- I just completely botched that. That was terrible. 
This was one of my worst, worst runs of that level ever because I just forgot what I was doing. I know the, that like some of my runs on these previous levels weren't very great, and so these golds are like, kind of free. It's still really satisfying seeing a bunch of golds like this. Send you an email back. Not bad. I really only botched the stuff with that flapjack there. And that jump at the end. I will take it. <laughs> hey there, Luai. <laughs> and thank you for uh, not canceling your subscription for nine months. I appreciate it. And uh, if, if you're refusing to use that... Uh, very, very nice emo, Lou. Why, 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 was, uh, why was it in that gear? I can't talk. Why was it in that message of yours? Yeah, gotta get the checkpoint just to be safe. I don't trust myself. a tiny bit of time but I can make that up very quickly if I just don't botch this level Ugh, I panicked a little bit <laughs> that went well but I panicked at the end there because I didn't grab the checkpoint and I thought I was going to hit something. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> All the ways for me to botch this level, that's what I do. Are you talking about uh, that first bullet section still, Luai, where you couldn't get through that one? Or are you talking about the next section? I'm, sh I'm assuming you're talking about Henna's level. That beast of a level. God damn it. Get up there. Oh, 
Okay, that's the second one. I wasn't sure if you got there or not. Yeah, because that, that section was the section that took me the longest out of anything that entire level. Yeah, it's like, once you get in a rhythm, it's not that hard of a section to gain height in. But being at the right height to get a comfortable CSJ out of it is the hardest part. <laughs> because, like, once I got the rhythm down, I made it up to the top of that part, like, a dozen times before I finally got the CSJ once. And that one, that first time I got the CSJ, I grumped it, so I had to do it again. And then it took me like another 10 or 15 minutes to get it finally and make it to the next section. But that is the last section before the boss fight. If that's any consolation. So all you have to do is get that one CSJ and you're on the boss fight. Yeah, when I got to that sideways bullet part with the CSJ, I was like, what What am I supposed to do? I, no, I'm not supposed to CSJ off of every single bullet in between the shots, am I? And then, lo and behold, yes. Also, I messed up and I was not able to damage boost because I accidentally dropped down. Oh well. This level is always a one that I don't do perfectly, so it's not the end of the world. Well, that's not what I meant to do. Alright, just let me finish the level. <laughs> so I don't botch it even more than I already have. It's like, it's one of those things where it's like, I also kind of knew what instantly what to do. For a second, I was like... Alright, what's at the bottom there? It's like, am I supposed to be, like, item hopping or something? But no, I realized pretty quickly it's like, no, those jack drops are there specifically so you can't item hop. Oh yeah, no, the GR-17s are weird to grab in these runs. Partially because I don't normally grab them in most of the runs, and partially uh, because grabbing them as a game mechanic screws up all of your timing. Because if you didn't notice, there's that little slowdown when you grab one. Uh, yeah, that's, that little slowdown sucks. I have uh, died more than once because of that tiny little slowdown. Because it's not just like it's slow, it, like it does like the effect where it shakes the screen and stuff. It slows down everything. And so if you're relying on uh, the game being at normal speed. Uh, your inputs will be about half a second behind because of that slowdown. Maybe not that much, I don't actually know how much it is, but... Basically, it screws everything up by messing up your timing. And so if you're not in a safe area, you're kind of screwed. So thankfully I only need, like, a handful of GR-17s in this run. Not like 100% where I need all of them. <sighs> ah, God damn it. I almost did that last time, so I had some time to save on this level, but obviously I didn't save it, and lost some extra time instead. Damn. Yeah, Lua, it's always, it's actually funny where it's like, I feel like at this point I need to expect it, where if, like, if I see somebody on my, uh, follow list post, like, a weird, hard level that's not necessarily, like, stupid hard, but it's just not normal in terms of, uh, like, level difficulty, I feel like I should either expect to see you on the clear list very quickly, 
or find out that you attempted it. Because, like, I uh, went and played Ben's new level earlier today. And it's like, oh yeah, that was fun. Let me go check, uh, like, see if I could go back and get the shoe now. And then I saw that you beat the level <laughs> after I got the shoe. Never mind, I'll just send you an email, I guess. Come on, man. Go away, swoop. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was not as bad as last time, but still bad. Oh yeah, no, my ribbon wasn't very good, because it was my first clear of the level, it was six minutes long. And my shoe wasn't perfect, but it wasn't bad. But I'll go ahead and take a look at those later. After I'm done with some speedrunning. Because the ribbon, no offense, Luai, it's probably kind of free. Ah, oh, god damn it. I hate this level sometimes. I had the opportunity to save time here, and I did not. Because, like, now that I know how to do the level and get the gist of, like, all of the different challenges... Come on, man. What the f are you... God! Well, there goes literally all of my time save, I guess. I'm losing all of it here. I was a minute and a half ahead. I'm going to be less than a minute ahead now. That blows. Fair enough. Okay. So I did lose like 30 seconds there, which sucks. A lot. I actually got this level pretty good last time around, so let's see what I can do this time. No, my finger slipped off the stick <laughs> right when I was about to throw down. That's not good. Damn it, I was gonna have a good run in this level too. Time to hemorrhage some more time. Yeah, that box throw is not hard. But it's deceptively simple in that if you take it for granted, you will mess it up during runs. <laughs> and there have been runs where I mess it up like four times in a row, and it's really frustrating. No, I don't want to go here. God damn it, I always do that by accident. Not often. But it happens more often than I would like, which is it happens, period. Dang it, I would have saved time there if I didn't do that. Turned out pretty good, because uh, <laughs> there was some stuff that happened there that I was not expecting and not trying to do, but it worked out. But Lua, if you're talking about uh, speedrun campaign levels, when's your return to any percent? You haven't done a run in a while. Oh, Alright, I gotta stall. A little bit. God damn. Could have saved time there. But you gotta go for that sub hour. I 
I hate messing up the beginning of this level because it's simple and easy, and the rest of the level's not. God damn it. Come on, man. Why can't I just do a basic CSJ? Sometimes. That wasn't very good. Yeah, Lua, you haven't really just outside of power builds, you just haven't really streamed in a in a while. You're making <laughs> I hate meetings too. Hmm? Like the only way to catch Lua on stream is one of the weeks where he's forced to do the power build. Uh, PK and Duck are holding him at gunpoint, forcing him to do it that week. That's the only way we can get we can get him to stream anymore. Like, I'm assuming it's just because streaming during the school year is a lot harder for you. And so during the summer months, it's a lot easier. Oh, I got it! And then I botched it. <laughs> during the turnaround. God damn it. Yeah, did, uh, was there any interesting stories from the end of the year, or was it just, like, normal end-of-the-year craziness, just, like, with grades and getting everything done and such? Never mind, I'll just you can, you you can save those stories for when you actually stream, because it's probably easier to tell them by talking than over, um, chat, but I'm just curious if there was, like, anything interesting that happened or not. Kind of messed that up a little bit. Yeah, still, it. this is just a reminder. I need to fix my splits after this run. Because a couple of levels are in the wrong spots. bit of a late split, but that's fine. Oh yeah, I'm sure you have stories in general. Like, I don't doubt that. I was just curious, yeah, if there was anything from the end of the year specifically. But yeah, it does, it does not surprise me you've got stories to tell. I feel like the two jobs that you'll always, or the three jobs you'll always have fun stories to tell are teachers, uh, retail, and uh, IT for a company that is not a tech company. Those are the three jobs that you will always have fun stories to tell. It's like, they're all, they'll all have interesting stories for different reasons, but yeah. IT is just because, uh, I, that's why I specified not, why am I getting everything? I don't need to do that. That's why I specified not at a tech company, because it's like, you'll just be dealing with people that barely even know what a computer is for your entire job every day. And that will just lead to a lot of fun stories to tell that are very much not fun in the moment. Just like most of the other jobs, they're not fun in the moment, but they're good stories. <laughs> yeah, Luai, how often do you get asked by uh, teachers that are like 20, 30 years older than you how to turn on their computer and stuff like that? Especially since I'm assuming... If you work at a school, they're upgrading the technology. Not necessarily often, but every once in a while. 
Or at least if it's anything like my school was. Back in the day. God damn it. Okay, there we go. Almost a really good run, but not bad. I almost botched it down there. forgot about yeah scantron and everything like that it's like it makes things way easier for like students and if you know how to do it i'm sure it makes things easier for teachers but yeah that doesn't surprise me that uh that's one of the sticking points especially for english because english it's very easy to just do multiple choice whenever you're like talking about like a book you read or something like that you just like you just do a multiple choice question to make or uh, to like check some stuff and then have them write an essay about it and that's the class. <laughs> I don't actually know how you do things. Oh, what? But like that wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Yeah, that sounds like an interesting story to tell, if you can tell it, of course. I don't know if... <laughs> yeah, it was. it's either you don't know why or you're not allowed to talk about it. That's, those are the problem. That's what I was expecting from that kind of story. But I feel like that's the kind of thing where it's like, in like a year or two, it'll just be like the gossip. And then one of the things you actually hear people talk about is the real story for it. You'll never have any idea what is the actual real reason. Yeah, because I feel like at the start of next year, that's going to be the gossip of both the students and the teachers. <laughs> if it wasn't already, which I wouldn't be surprised by. Thankfully, with how the cycles work at this level, I didn't lose any time. Alright. Croncrete Legend. Let's see how this goes and how horribly I botch it this time. Why did I jump there? Oh my god. Okay, just wait a cycle. Go. I didn't grab the checkpoint by accident. Cool. I'm just playing this safe. I don't want to die. Okay. We're good. No, I didn't get to do the damage boost. I got to do that one, though, I guess. <laughs> yeah, like, I feel like the teacher reasons are usually going to be, like, closer to what the actual uh, reason is. And the students are going to just be like... Literally anything you can think of is probably one of the things they came up with. Never mind, I'll just send you an email, I guess. Yeah, because I'm sure like half of the rumors are just like they did something illegal and the different rumors are just what they did. <laughs> And at that point, it's just like, alright, is it like a fun illegal thing, or is it like a boring illegal thing? It's like, did they like, kill a person, or did they just like, commit tax fraud? <laughs> or maybe they did both. Somebody discovered the tax fraud and they killed them to keep them silent. <laughs> yeah, I, I, 
I'm like half joking with that, but like, yeah, it's, it was almost definitely something serious if it happened during the school day like that. Tax fraud would be the kind of thing where you just silently let them go after the school year or something. <laughs> but at the same time, it obviously wasn't something major enough to end up in all the news outlets or anything like that. Because you know if it was something really crazy, all the news outlets would have found out somehow and would have been reporting on it. Because they do not respect any privacy unless they legally have to. And even then... Oops. Cool. It just... Oh, uh, that was a weird thing. It just, like, split... I hit the split Glad button, and it just no split, man. like, four seconds after I hit the button for some reason. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, brawlers are hard to optimize, but once you do uh, learn, like, the specifics for an, any individual brawler, it becomes significantly easier. Like, any brawler that has variability is very difficult to optimize, but, like, some of the other ones are, like, pretty easy, all things considered. Like, an unusual time, I'm pretty decent at it at this point, because I practice it a lot. But I still mess that one up pretty regularly. Like, last run, I botched it. Not, like, terribly, terribly, but I definitely didn't do it well. Considering I saved 10 seconds. <laughs> one of those things where it's like, if you just do the levels enough, you'll figure something out that works for you, even if it's not the fastest you could be doing the level. Because the most important thing is just consistency. Because you could be playing these levels with the worst strats possible, but if you get everything first try every time, you're going to be going a lot faster than people who do the hard, some of the hard strats. And then obviously, if you can do the hard strats first try, you'll be even faster. And that's where, like, me and Intu are at, where we have to get all the hard stuff first try. Damn it. I really hate this little pop jaw. It's one of the only th bits of RNG that really screws up 100% stuff. I'm gonna go for the fun strat and then just go from there. Ah, oh, damn, that was actually really close. No, I missed a gem. I need to go back for the gem. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. By the way, the fun strat is going for that wall super jump to get the GR17 faster. <laughs> at the start, because that is faster than what I just did to get the GR-17. Damn it. Losing sprint there makes getting this thing way harder. Dang it. If I didn't mess up that ending, I could have golded by multiple seconds and not just a little bit. Oh well, I'll take it. Okay. 
It was worth a shot. Nope. Getting up here is stupid. Ooh, that was actually really close. Almost messed that up. That was stupid close. <laughs> I almost botched that ending, which would have been really bad. It would be fun, uh, Luai, if you did like an all levels run though one of these days, even though if you, even if you don't really know the strats for some of the levels and not like from a f fresh file or anything either, just like a normal all levels run, that would be fun just to see how you deal with everything. I mean, if you think about it, it's the same as any percent, just an extra 30 levels or so. It's not that bad, all things considered. And out of those levels, there's only a handful that are actually, like, annoying and bad. Most of them really aren't that difficult, all things considered. Because there's, like, like Throw Rage, for example. You just super jump a couple times and you're done. And then Nope card is like one of the ones you might actually not have co very well the first time. But it would be fun. God damn it. God damn it. I knew that was gonna happen. Should have thrown the package to start blocking bullets. Come on! God damn it. This intro section sucks. I don't even mess this up during 100% this much. And then I don't have sprint, which is really bad. Alright, I'm playing this stupid safe now. They didn't die. So it worked, I guess. <laughs> There we go. Still going by a little bit. Like, honestly, I don't think Nope Card's as bad as people make it out to be. The only bad part is the ending, and that can be cheesed if you know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you there. That level traumatized you. But yeah, the one reason I would say uh, don't do a fresh file all levels run is because there's only like 10 levels where you need to collect stuff in order to unlock levels. And only like 7 or 8 of them you actually need to like 100%. Uh, but one of those levels you need 100% is Hollow Mountain Hike. So I'm going to have to 100% Hollow Mountain Hike this run. around. So I will be doing that very shortly. And I actually got a really good time on it uh, last run. I got like a 119, which is pretty good all things considered. And then that level is followed by, immediately by a level that's also really annoying, but for similar but different reasons. Because turn it on is a pain in the ass. It's a really fun level if you can get everything. Uh, but it's very difficult to get everything. 
yeah, basically, uh, this category doesn't exist on speedrun.com. We've talked about it a bunch, but until, like, somebody did a run of it, there was no reason to, like, make the category. But yeah, basically, all, the, all levels that is on speedrun.com is run from a completed file, so you don't have to worry about unlocking anything. Uh, this is the same thing, but you have to unlock all the levels. And since some levels require you to do certain things in specific levels in order to unlock them, uh, you have to do more. Why am I not jumping? What is happening? Damn it. Okay. This level kind of went to crap at the end there. God damn it. But yeah, basically, I would recommend you do all levels uh, as is, which does not require you to uh, start over from a new save file. Doesn't require you to. Whoops. Doesn't require you to unlock anything. You just have to beat all 93 levels as fast as you can. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Shoot. Damn it. I messed that up. God damn it. I hate my life. Not really, but like, that sucks. Lost some more time. It's closer to all level- it's closer to any percent, kind of, because you actually have all the animations as well. But yeah, it's closer to all levels, and then like I said, there's like 10 levels where you have to do either 100% strats or modified 100% strats. I didn't get that bug piece. I gotta get that still. Okay, there we go. Gotta go over here, get these gems. Still gotta get that bug piece. I always get that checkpoint because I don't trust myself to get it without dying. Oh, come on, man. Nope, okay. I'm not doing as well as last run. Kind of sucks, but not not really that surprising. And then here I just play it safe and wait. Oh, damn. I actually golded by a decent margin. Oh, yeah, because I messed up the beginning last time, so I had to restart one time. I forgot about that, actually. And on top of that, I just got a better time, despite messing up. But yeah, if you liked uh, your moving platforms, this level's for you. And then optimally on the way back, you do the whole thing again, but with sprint. <laughs> right, that wasn't too bad. It's like that's like when I can get that level decently, that is actually a really satisfying level. It's just when you don't get it decently, it sucks. <laughs> It's very easy to hemorrhage a ton of time because there's only that one checkpoint halfway through and that's it. Also, incredible skip. First try. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Alright, still saving some time here despite that little slip up near the end. <laughs> yeah, you might you might wanna be a little actually you might wanna not uh be as good at jumping into fire if you do uh do some runs. Because that I think that might not help you that much. Call it a hunch. Alright, flingo swing, I also need a hundred percent. Thank you. 
Oops. Oh, come on. Are you freaking kidding me? I somehow missed all of the checkpoints and botched that one spot. Come on, man. Really? That is so much time lost. I was gonna save some time here. And then I botched it again because I didn't think I was gonna go over that little alcove. God damn it. This level's going absolutely garbage. Time to hemorrhage like a full minute or whatever. Not actually a full minute, I don't think, but a lot of time. That was really bad. 100% hazards run. That sounds awful. Really funny, but it sounds awful. Alright, then I kind of... Was this the level I lost sprint on, or was that a different level? I think that was a different level. No, I did this level properly last time. Yeah, 30 seconds down the drain for Flingo Swing. That kind of sucks. And then some of these levels I actually got really good. Uh, Four Point Plunge was one of the levels I did very well last time. So I am not expecting to do as well this time. I can still do well, I'll be happy though. Yeah, that's still good. Oh, I did half a second better, apparently. Fine by me. Ah, you hate meetings too, hmm? I got 100% this level as well. There we go. Okay, that was outside of that little slip up with not killing those dudes. That was actually a pretty good run of this level. I'm happy with that. And I even got it in under the on-time delivery, which doesn't matter for this category, but it's good to know. And now you get to see how easy a uh, nope card is. And now that I said that, that means I'm 100% gonna mess it up. <laughs> Of all the ways to screw it up, it's because I accidentally didn't act press A the way I meant to. I accidentally tapped it when I was gearing up to hold it. There was no recovering from that. That wasn't even like a good death. That was just me being stupid. Also, here's the cheese, because you can just jump over the uh, activation area for those ones, and they just either don't activate at all or activate way later, making that second part. Uh, a joke. And really easy. Ah, oh, little sprint. Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't land on there. I wanted it to. Damn it. Would have saved time if it had.
All right, I did mess up one of the uh, final switch timings on this one last run. So as long as I don't do that again, I will save a little bit of time here. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> That's my own fault for not hitting the one guy on the side like I meant to, but yeah. Alright, that could have been a lot better. Not terrible, but not good. If I didn't die, that actually probably would have golded, but oh well. Tiny little gold. I did. Uh, I don't know which level you were talking about, but both of the levels I just did are kind of weird, so it is applicable to both of them. I'm just gonna reset. I messed up the timings, so the cycle I would go for is not gonna be possible. All right, I'm losing time on this level now because of that. Kind of sucks, but that's fine. Not the end of the world. Because my run on this last run was actually really good, so the odds of me beating it are already very small. So it's not that big a deal. Because I got a thir like a low 35. Yeah, that time I got a high 35, so like, even if I didn't have to restart, I would have lost time. Just only like half a second now. Nothing crazy. Impro you know, I didn't care if you saw that anyway. Alright. The ripcord levels were, uh, not my best work last run. So hopefully I can do them a little bit better this time. Same thing last run, and that is not a thing I really ever do in any runs. God damn it, grab it. Alright, that could have been better. Still save some time because I didn't die at the beginning, but could have been better. Alright, only air skip. It's basically impossible for me with how my TV is right now, but who knows? Maybe a miracle will happen. I'm still gonna go for it because it's fun. Yep. Too early. Take a gold on the nine second level. <laughs> All right, hover stop uh, was really, really bad last time, so let's not do that again. There we go, that's better.
And Sting Like a Bee was actually really good last run, so I'm probably not going to beat it this time. For messing up uh, the last swoop kill a little bit, the fact that I only lost less than a second is not bad. Alright, and then Boom Boom Pop is the last level I need to do anything on, and I botched it horribly last run. So let's see what, can, what I can do this time. And I only need the GR17 on this level, so it's not even anything crazy. Oh, come on. There we go. Whoops. Alright, I'm still kind of messing this one up a bit. But, less than last time. Because I didn't have to restart the whole damn level. Cool. Could have been better, but I'll take it. Alright, from this point out, none of the levels really had any major mistakes. Outside of maybe no cart having... Or not no cart. Uh, ride the spike not being uh, optimal, as in like I died a couple times, but it was nothing like crazy. Oh my god, I missed the freaking split key. Alright, let's not mess up the ending this time and get it first try. First try. Save 20 seconds. Because <laughs> I got a first try. That's really the last major time save I have, though. Everything else from this point onward went anywhere from pretty good to very good. So there's not really much I have to save. Like, Grand Theft Grotto was almost tied with my best time ever on that level. Stuff like that. Uh, Trick the Cannon just went well, period. Yeah, Ride the Spike is one of those levels where... Uh, the, ca the intended casual route isn't easy, and the speedrun route isn't easy. But the speed run, but the casual level isn't really that good, and the speed run route is actually fun. And once you get the feel for the timing of those jumps, it's really not that hard, all things considered. It's not easy by any means, but it's not that hard. It's just if you go for the IL strat, it requires package hopping at high speeds. And doing it at low speeds is hard enough. So the ending for that level for the IL is kind of stupid. You basically have that full uh, platform momentum. You don't lose it at all, and then you just keep it with you while package hopping. Into the goal. Really satisfying. Never want to ever go for it during a run. <laughs> right, I'm already not going to match my time from last run on this level, unfortunately. Although last time I did mess up two of the one tile throws and still got a really good time, so who knows? I might surprise myself. Probably not, but you never know. But I had a basically perfect kill on this flapjack, and that's not gonna happen again. Yeah, didn't happen. Okay, not that bad, though. 
only lost like five seconds. All right, hit A a tiny bit late, so I ended up not saving time on that. Or a tiny bit early, I mean, so it didn't count. That's what I meant. Ugh. All right. better than I was expecting. I think last time I messed up the throws at the very beginning, which is where I lost time. Alright, I think the only level left that I actually didn't do very, like, pretty well on is wait what, and I only lost like a few seconds on that one. Nothing too crazy. God damn it. I only messed up one super jump last time and it didn't require me to restart the checkpoint. So I'm probably going to lose time here. But I had a better ending, so maybe I will save time. Cool, I did save time. That's the funny thing, it's like... For all of the crazy stuff that's in these runs, the basic super jumps that you have to do on that level are the what are some of the things I mess up the most in the entire run. Granted, it's partially because there's like six of them if you want to do the level optimally, but like I still mess up them more often than I should, considering they're just basic super jumps. But it's also partially because they're with normal boxes and not the package, which is slightly harder. And I missed the split key again. I keep I keep splitting or skipping a ton of splits because I mess up, and they're always right before splits. I have a bunch of time to save on, so the golds don't count. <laughs> All right, I didn't mess that up this time. That's good. All right, let's get this this time as well. Cool. I, even though I messed things up on this one a little bit, I will still save a couple seconds. Why did I do that? Cool. Saved a few seconds. Alright, and I think I got like a 119 on this last time, so almost no chance of me saving time. Because I think my best is like a low 118, high 117, something like that. So I basically have to match my best time on this level in order to save time. Well, that's fine. As long as I don't botch anything too badly, not that big a deal. And I got that twice today. I did it in both of my runs when I had no business doing it, because that is way too risky for the amount of time it saves, which is basically nothing. Shoot, that up. Oh well, it worked out. Oh yeah, I did actually mess up uh, the arena a bit last time, so that lost me a good amount of real time, not a ton of in-game time. Apparently, I saved four seconds and got a new t best time on this level. Sure, I'll take it. <laughs> I, 
I'm almost positive that's the best time I've ever gotten on this level. Also, I just actually looked at the time and I literally missed... Unless the retime uh, shaves off four tenths of a second, <laughs> I missed sub 105 by literal, literally frames. <laughs> that's uh, kind of sad, but also pretty funny. But either way, that's less than 10 minutes behind uh, my PB without a fresh file, which I was, expe was not expecting, especially not today, to be that close behind it. And my sum of best is only like 10 minutes behind it, my uh, sum of best for normal levels as well.